people have never seen these dogs. I can show you a million pictures, but it's nothing like seeing one of these micro pit bulls in person. Beautiful. Will you get up, silly? Come on. There we go. This is Queen Khalifa. She's a micro pit bull promising to be the next big thing in the world of designer dogs. Get her. I got Queen Khalifa maybe two years ago, and I'm all about micro pit bulls. Queen Khalifa is one of the best representations of what a micro pit bull should look and function like. Owner John runs the company The Collectibles who breed and promote this small but perfectly formed breed of pit bulls that he sells for an average of $20,000 each. A micro pit bull, it's the same thing as a pit bull, it's just on a smaller frame, it's like a miniature pit bull. The average American pit bull terrier is between 19 to 21 inches and the new micro pit bulls are between 9 and 11 inches. The second thing that um, defines this breed is their how extreme they are in such a small frame. So when I say extreme, as far as their build, what I'm talking about is a maximum chest width, a real bulky neck, a solid, strong, firm rear. Yeah. They're their ultimate family companions. They have excellent temperaments, and that's our main reason for producing these dogs, to be friendly and to break that negative stereotype that surrounds the American Pit Bull Terrier. One of the main things I like to do with Queen Khalifa is uh, take her out and get her some exposure and take her on walks. Today, my model friend Julia is gonna be walking downtown Long Beach at some hot spots. All right. What I love about Queen Khalifa is she's got a great personality. I love all her, she's just like so tight and muscular and like, She's adorable, I just, I just love her. <laughs> She's an attention whore, if that makes any sense, and uh, she just loves attention. So cute. Thank you, thank you. As you can see, she's a micro pit bull, one of the smallest ones out yeah. here. Yeah. So the biggest pit bull in the world, what about him? Oh, his name is Hulk. And this is the smallest pit bull. Why does she make that sound? I think because she has a short snout. She does it when she's excited, or when she's trying to get your attention. It's part of the breed, it's genetics. Queen Khalifa has been gathering a dedicated fan base, and it's not surprising that owner John has received some lavish offers from fans wishing to purchase her. Yeah. Oh, you are so sweet! I've received a number of different offers on Queen Khalifa. The highest bid so far has been 75000 for this girl. But if you ask me, I would say my girl is priceless and I would never sell her. I love it! Oh, I, I love, love it! it. <laughs> Will I be breeding Queen Khalifa? To be honest on that question, I'm not 100% sure. But if I did, I would be more of a selective breeder. Meaning that if I bred my girl down, I would breed her to a stud that I feel uh, has what she lacks. If I do breed her, our puppies will go for a nice price. Nothing will be sold for less than $20,000. Oh, really nice. Come give her some love. A bully. Is she a bully? Right. Yeah. I have four pit bulls, so oh, okay. I know my dogs. That's what's up? She's beautiful. I like them. They're cute. They're fun to look at, and they're beautiful dogs. <laughs> right now, we're in Hollywood, on the Hollywood Strip. I like to bring my girl, Queen Khalifa, down here, because she's a Hollywood dog, and get her a lot of exposure. Touch her. Come touch her. Oh, we're it's a pit. No, no, no. It's a American box. American pit bull. American box. It's a micro pit. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Oh. Today was a great day. We took her to three different locations. We got a whole bunch of exposure, and we actually networked a lot today. She always enjoys every bit of it, and 